good evening, everyone, and thank you to the organizers of uh, tonight's event. I uh, really appreciate this opportunity to introduce myself and say a little bit about why I am seeking another four-year term as Seventh Ward Alderman. Um, I moved to Evanston with my family in the 1970s, expecting to stay for just a few years, but I quickly put down deep roots in our community when I saw how civically engaged our residents are in making this a better community. And I couldn't think of a better place to raise my family. In the years since, I too have become very engaged. I have served in leadership positions in a number of Evanston organizations, including the League of Women Voters, Leadership Evanston, the Evanston Community Foundation, Public Service Challenge, and Citizen Screener Evanston. And all this then led me to uh, becoming Seventh Ward Alderman in 2016. And since then, I've worked closely with uh, Seventh Ward residents on issues both large and small. Among the larger ward issues, I helped uh, Ryan Field neighbors work to ensure that the, the reconstruction of the West parking lot was sensitive to their concerns about lighting and landscaping and the impact on the neighborhood. More recently, I worked shoulder to shoulder with uh, the residents, what turned out to be ultimately our unsuccessful fight to um, prevent the council's approval of uh, commercial use for the Welsh Ryan Arena. On a more successful note, however, um, I've been a leader uh, in the successful fight to prevent uh, an easement for a roadway across Isabella Woods. I've been a strong advocate for Canal Shores Golf Course, wonderful green resource for our community and also for restoring and repurposing Harley Clark. Turning now to city council and citywide issues, uh, during my five years on the council, I have been a strong advocate for sustainability and for our climate action and resilience plan. And that will continue to be one of my priorities. We have a CARP implementation strategy, and I've asked that we have regular council updates on the actions underway um, starting in February the, in the next year. And to touch on everyone's favorite topic, I am working with members of the Environment Board uh, to develop a strategy for a year-round ban on gas-powered landscaping equipment. A second priority for me is affordable housing. I am committed to our completing and implementing a meaningful affordable housing plan that will result in a significant increase in the supply of affordable housing in our community. In addition, I support our undertaking a comprehensive review and revision of our zoning and building codes applied with an affordability lens. And a third priority for me is reimagining public safety in our community. I'm especially excited about the alternative 911 response program that I am working to develop with Alderman Fleming. The next few years are going to be very challenging as we work to achieve an equitable recovery from the pandemic while still making progress on our climate goals, on affordable housing, and on reimagining public safety for our community. So thank you very much for this opportunity this evening.